Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, taking a look at Bastion, uh, I've also got Transistor here, and Blasphemous. Um, these two were on special, so I grabbed them while I was getting Blasphemous, basically. Um, I have played these two before, so I already, you know, sort of know what to expect, but I'd like to see what the Switch versions are like, so let's take a look at Bastion first, then next video I'll take a look at Transistor, and then Blasphemous, which I haven't actually played yet, I'll have a look at. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so this is a uh, I don't know I don't know what I, what kind of game I'd call this kind of like like an isometric sort of beat em up I guess I don't know genres are hard <laughs> uh, just give me this auto save Warner Brothers apparently. Super Giant Games. Bastion. Press A. Let's look at the options just so I know what, what it gives you. Subtitles on, yes please. Uh, otherwise, yeah, that should be fine. Profiles. That's like multiple save slots. It's just got a weird name. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Let's go normal mode. I haven't played the game before, so I don't have an existing game. The Rippling Walls. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion. Where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. So yeah, this game's got a narrator. It's kind of an interesting decision. It's not like Stanley Parable where you can do different things, but you don't stop to wonder why. You pretty much just get what you're doing narrated. Well, it's a touch and reunion. Got a hammer. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone. Better survive it. No ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops it good. Hey yeah. Yeah. What the uh So yeah, I can do like a dodge roll thing with B button like this. I can also just smash stuff up. I want to smash stuff up, that's an option. So, that's cool. Um, I forget what that does. Doesn't seem to do anything yet. Might do something in a bit. Uh, looks like I can get... I forget if that's money or, like, experience. I'll take that. Okay, so now I have a gun. As you can see, it's got a couple of shots and then it runs out. It's alright. Uh, can smash this, can smash this. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Health tonics refilled. Okay, so this... So it's it's kind of like Estus Flasks in Dark Souls. You can buff it up by, like that. Just heal up and then get my tonics back. There we go. Cool. Easy peasy. ZR doesn't do anything yet. It says it'll do something, but it's not. Uh, we got a saloon over there. It's a We're gonna go into the saloon, I think. Still The Soul of Regret. Is that the name of the saloon, or...? I'm not sure. He sets foot inside one of Salambia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. 
The calamity got him before his drinking did. Ronnie always wanted his ashes scattered here. Then give wow, tragic. Trusty shield. Oh, shield's good. I like a shield. Give me. Nice. But just Set L to defend. The security takes him for many You can deflect shots like this to aim them back at stuff. Doesn't seem to be going the right direction though. There we go. Wait, there's more. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Heal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so far you're probably getting an idea of what this game's like. We're about to get to the Bastion, so we'll go there first. a good look at things on his way down. He lands the wolf on top district. of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Oh, yes, I'd like a bow. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows you should draw the string. And you can charge it up by holding down the button, and then you release it. Do more, it does more damage. Uh, what's over here? The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the Oh, you can upgrade your stuff by getting special items like this. That's cool. Good news is the emergency defense is still working. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. You automatically lock onto an enemy by the looks of things. Uh, and you can switch who you're locked onto by pressing the L button and R button. So that's pretty simple. Whirlwind. Okay, I have a new move by the looks of things? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's limited use, I should probably stop wasting it. <laughs> okay, so you get these black bottles to fill it back up. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what game, what kinds of games I would compare this to. I don't know if I've, if I've played the kind of games it's similar to, but it's, it's, it's good, so yeah. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. Okay, so this is this is the sort of upgrade system. Basically, you can pick which one of these you want. Um, That one sounds good to me. Passive bonuses, yeah. So you can choose which one to use at each, in each of these slots, and you think you can come back and change them whenever you want. Yes. The and the arsenal lets you adjust what weapons you're using. So I can change uh, my Y button weapon to one of these. I'll leave it as the bow. I can change my A button weapon to one of these. And I can change my uh, ZR button to a different technique if I want. Uh, I'm gonna leave it the way it is though.
Get out of black tonic. Oh, there's bad guys, bad guys, bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. <laughs> Some of them squirts bursting like crazy in a couple of corn beans. Yeah, these things spawn enemies repeatedly until you get rid of them, so you want to destroy them nice and quick. Some apples there, there we go. Apples heal you, just like in uh, the Zelda games that have apples that you can eat. Uh, you can put your shield out in a direction like this by using the right analog stick. You don't have to though. Oops. I meant to do something different. I keep pressing the wrong buttons, accidentally doing things I don't want to. That's just me being silly though, that's not a problem with the game. You want to use the dodge roll judiciously to avoid taking damage. Is that the right word? Judiciously? I think it's the right word. Just throw these boxes and stuff before they pop out and attack you. Seems like a good idea. Uh, that'll upgrade us one of our weapons, which is always nice. Okay, we've got a bit of a mini boss here. everywhere. Okay, it's now raining experience or money or some. I think it's money. So let's grab all the money that's raining down. I forget. I forget what it does. <laughs> it's good to have though. Okay, I think that's the end of the first level. Almost. Yeah, when you take the core, it starts collapsing, as you might expect. The narrator, like, reacts to what you're doing and says different things accordingly. It's pretty cool. And here's the Skyway, which is the exit of the level. There we go. Oh, those are fragments of the old world. Okay. Okay, so we're getting to the Bastion now, which is... It's basically like a hub world sort of thing. It's not really a full blown level like it would be in some games when I use the term hub world, but it's sort of like that. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. So yeah, this is the Bastion. Let's make our way over. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. There's the narrator. And yeah, this is the Bastion. There's nothing here yet, but uh, if we talk to this guy... What's this core do? Okay. So you put the core in the monument like that. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. 
So basically it works like the Comet Observatory, you you put the cores in it and it unlocks the areas and stuff and it can send you to distant areas, that sort of thing. There we go. So what's going to happen, this is... Yeah, you, you've got to build up the like different locations for the arsenal and distillery. We saw some of these already, but you get the idea. You have to build them here as well in order to get access to them. I believe we get one now, and once we get a second core, we can build another one here. So, let's start with an arsenal, I guess. There we go. Let's equip the mirror shield, that sounds good. So yeah, that's how you can switch your weapons up, unlock different special tactics, special sk secret skills and stuff. Um, I believe once we do another level, we'll get a core that is built here. I think that's what happens. Uh, the way to go to the next level is to go up here, get on this warp tile here. Whoosh! <laughs> and there, then now we have like a traditional sort of map screen thing. So there's the Bastion. Uh, there's the Wharf District which we went to, but we destroyed that by taking out the core, so yeah. Uh, the wor Workman Ward here, there's another core we can get, so let's go there next. So yeah, you're probably getting an idea of what the game's like. Um, I think it's pretty good. I like it. Kind of wish I didn't have to play it, play as the kid, who was apparently, you know, they, someone who uses he, him, which I don't really like. But, you know, whatever people want to do, I guess. Okay, got a bunch of little, little enemies all around here. Just use the hammer. Oh god, I'm taking so much damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we got a skill here. Okay, I think that skill lets them, lets me use, like turn them onto my team or something, which is kind of cool. Uh, and here there's a war machete. Which replaces my hammer, so I have a new weapon now, which is cool. It's also throwable, which is cool. It's very flexible. Yes, yeah, so this one's a bit faster than the hammer, but it doesn't do quite as much damage. So yeah, you got a bit of flexibility, basically. I'll use the fountain here. So yeah, it's, it's like... I guess an action RPG, maybe? I guess I'd call it that. Action RPG. Well, I just walked off the side. <laughs> hmm. Let's cut up Gershaw. something over here. I forget whether this is where the main like core is or if we have to go a different direction. Is it like a map or something? I don't think so. The minus button gives you like the items you're carrying. The plus button just gives you a menu here. You can move back to the bastion if you want to. It's quite out of the level basically. The rest of the path is gone. 
Okay, so there's nothing down here that can help us. So I had to go a different way. Okay, let's try going this way. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. a forge. So a forge lets you upgrade your equipment, I believe. Yes. So if I can, I can upgrade my machete using this something sharp. Select an upgrade. And give it a better critical hit chance, or uh, serrated edge attacks cripple foes deal damage over time. Hmm. Don't go with that one. That sounds good. Yeah, upgrades cost Fragments or whatever those are called. Uh, I'm using the bow as well, so I want to upgrade that as well. Let's make it faster. You can switch upgrades if you want to. Just come back in here and you can swap between them for free, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the hammer, I don't have enough shards left to refill it anyway, so that's what I'm doing for now. I will eventually build a forge at the Bastion, I believe, but not just yet. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Um, well there's nothing here, so I guess it's not this way. Uh, you can fall off, by the way, you gotta watch out for that. In case you were wondering. <laughs> Ow. Let's go to the fountain. There we go, that's better. Well, I've checked every direction, as far as I know. Uh, what about, oh, did I go up here? No, I didn't go up here. This is the spot I missed. Okay. Uh, we can get a new item here. Is that an upgrade or a memento? Hmm. Oop. Yeah, I fell down. So yeah, you take a little bit of damage if you fall off. It's not too bad. <sighs> Pretty simple. Um, let's head this way. I'm not sure what happens if you actually die. I don't think I've done that. Okay, so that's what I want. I want that core that's there. So we have to beat some bosses to get out, get in there. Oop. Basically, this guy base is the boss, and we want to beat him. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, there we go. Whew. Worked eventually. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the core. And then we gotta get out of here. Oh, okay. Cool. Alright, so yeah, we just head back to where we began. Uh, you can see the little, like, tile there is now activated, so we can exit. I guess we can come back here if we want, because it isn't falling apart. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, we have another core, which will give us a secondary we can build in, in the Bastion. You get the idea of what the game's like. Uh, I think it was originally designed for consoles and stuff. This is a rep, like, it's a couple of years old at this point. It, it is older than the Switch, I think. So, so it wasn't designed for the Switch specifically, but... The controls work fine on consoles, because I believe the games were designed to run on consoles. Yep, let's head over there and build something else. 
So we can build a forge, which upgrades our weapons and stuff, or a distillery, which lets us use different spirits. Uh, I'm gonna go with distillery this time. There we go. Uh, you can see both of these have little exclamations because there's new items available. Uh, you can see, got a bunch of different stuff we can equip. You can only use one of these if you pick the weapon it goes with. You can see that that needs the um, the little repeater, repeater gun, fang repeater. That needs the hammer. Uh, that needs the bow. Uh, and yeah, you can just equip two, whatever two weapons you want out of all the weapons you have. Uh, over here we've got the distillery. So yeah, uh, as you level up, you unlock more slots to put stuff in here. Let's see. Um, let's, uh, let's buck my max health. There we go. Fetching Fizz and Squirt Cider. So yeah, as you level up, you get more of these slots. Again, you can swap them around whenever you want, but that'll do for now. <laughs> and then we set off to the next area. You can see we have a few more options now. We can go to the Sundown Path or the Melting Pot. Uh, let's go to the Melting Pot. The load time seems okay because you don't switch areas very often. In better days, the pot was sealed tighter than the it's not that long anyway. Like it's not it's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, these plants will damage you, so you got to watch out for that. I think the, like, green smoke can damage you as well, which is not great. Okay, so that, we'll upgrade our thing repeater if we want it to. Yeah, if you actually run into the stab weed, it will do damage, so you do have to watch out for that. Uh, it's not pleasant. You can kill it like this though, which which is alright. Let's take a bit of killing though. There's a core he figures a couple of slashes. He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Oop. I think there might be an achievement for it in some version. The switch doesn't have achievements, so uh, I don't think we're getting any, but I'm gonna cut them all down anyway. There we go. Just to see if there is a prize for it. Nope, there isn't. <laughs> Had a feeling there wouldn't be because the game hinted that it... That, you know, I was wasting my time. Uh... Okay, there's the core. I do want that. I can't break the cage open, but if I defeat whatever boss I need to... I should be able to get it. Here's the trip mine, which is another special skill. Here's a switch over here which we can press, which will open the cage, or maybe not. Uh, oh dear. I think the green ones are on our side and the blue ones aren't or something like that. I'm not sure if we can damage the good ones. We can't but looks of things, so that's fine. So yeah, this is just a boss, like not boss for us, it's just a bunch of enemies you've got to fight before the door will open. The typical sort of thing for a video game. You know how it is. Played a video game before. <laughs> okay, that's a helpful gas fella.
Yeah, I should, I should probably use this trip mine thing. Uh. Oh yeah, that's good. Spices. Oh god. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Pressing recover is just chucking me off the edge, so that's useless. Okay, just locked the exit, so I've got to go a different way. Uh, this way. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, get, you get the idea of the game. It's... I guess action RPG is probably the best description because you're, you know, you're leveling up, you're switching weapons and upgrading them and stuff and it's, it's action-y and yeah, it's good. I still remember the look on his face after that one. Anyway, we're back at the Bastion so we can cash in our new core like this. Which unlocks a new uh, area we can build over there. We only have the plans for a forge so we'll make a forge. Now we can go to the forge and get some upgrades if we want some upgrades. Um, we can upgrade a repeater or a hammer, but I'm not going to bother right now. Don't need either of those really. Uh, we can ask about these various items we keep finding. Gives you a little bit of lore about the game, that sort of thing. Um, I've been playing for a half hour. I think you probably basically get the idea of this game at this point. Uh, since I've played it before, I don't really have a whole lot new to say. Apart from that it plays fine on the Switch, it's quite comfortable. Uh, I don't have any complaints about the controls. It does let you use the D-pad, by the way, as well as the analogs. I think... I think it has more like full movement rather than just eight directions, so you might want to use the analog, but you can use the D pad if you prefer. Uh, yeah, so that's Bastion. Uh, I'll just. Yeah, exit the main menu. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I don't have a whole lot to say about this game. Apart from that it's good and that I'm gonna enjoy playing more of it, and I'm glad it's I've got it on the Switch. <laughs> Cool. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time I'll look at Transistor and then Blasphemous, uh, which is probably going to be a longer video because that game's brand new to me and I don't know what to expect.